my Magus Basilius Antiochus, I bring news from the front lines of our empire. Your son Antiochus writes from Petra. Father, I am writing to you to confirm a great victory on our way north. The city of Petra has been conquered, but it was not an easy assault. The people of the desert are hardy and weathered, for only the roughest and strongest survive out here in the endless sands. I offered them surrender to save the unnecessary loss of lives, but their warlord, a cruel warlord named Mithro Buzanes, spat at my feet and claimed that his people did not need overlordship from weak Greeks. I must admit, father, that this angered me, and rather than wait to see them starve, I ordered an assault. Petra's walls were large and stout, and our brave men scaled them with ladders. The fighting for the gate was bloody, but once the gate was taken, we stormed the city and Mithrobuzanes was slain. We took a heavy toll, but the city is ours, and once the populace are quelled, I will continue our march north. That is all from your son, Basilius. But more news comes from Ariathus and his great army. Great Basilius, I bring news from our western edge, where we have been betrayed once again. The backstabbers of Pergamon have sallied forth and taken Adramition. When I returned from our conquests in the Aegean, I was met by this news, and it caused me great pain. For years, I have enjoyed friendly relations with their lords, and often exchanged news of Greece, and this betrayal stung me like a spear through the heart. However, in this pain, there was great opportunity. As their armies were split, and their capital undefended, I marched on Pergamon and besieged it. Euclides, the philosopher, leading a ragtag defense of green men, whereas my army is now seasoned and strong. But barely a few weeks into our siege, a Stratahos from Adramition came to relieve them. The Battle of Pergamon was a great victory, where we split their armies and utterly devastated them, with almost no losses. Once the battle was done, there was little resistance on the walls of the city. The city is conquered, and I cannot see Pergamon showing much resistance from now on. But my Basilius, what a city that we have taken. It is larger than any city I've ever seen before. Its avenues wide and large, its markets bustling, and its barracks are cavernous. What a city to base our Greek operations from. And if there are more cities like this in Greece, then I implore you to send me there as soon as you see fit. But as for now, my army indulges in the riches of Pergamon. Its people, however, are suspicious and doubtful. They do not see us as true Greeks, so I must win their trust. And if their trust cannot be won, then I will show them the rod and the execution square. And once they're settled, I will march forth and destroy Pergamon and crush all hope for freedom from them. That is Ariathus, my lord. But one last bit of news comes from the far north. My Megas Basilius, I write to you from the far reaches in the north where we are under siege from the Bactrians at Alexandria Ariana. My garrison is large, so I am confident in victory if they move to scale the walls. But I am writing concerning what happens after our siege is won. Eumenes' march was doomed, and the summer of blood hurt this region in a way that you cannot describe with mere words. My wife's father, Andragora, has watched over these lands for many years, and I have lived and roamed here since I was but a boy. And I ask with all sincerity that once the Bactrians are beaten back 
that I, Adimanthos, lead our armies into the north. We can no longer just wait and defend our borders. Our enemies are too numerous. So I am petitioning you, my Basilius, to take our armies north and destroy the Parthian and Bactrian mustering grounds once and for all. I know these lands, and I know these people, and I am not so brash and brazen as you meanies. So you have heard my petition, great Antiochus. I eagerly await your response while we gear up to defend our lands. That is all from the front line, Basilius. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. Yes, we are here, ready to go once again, guys. Now, of course, there's been a little bit of a delay, and that is because I was concussed, and I didn't want to, you know, record videos during that period, as well as I didn't think the quality would be quite good enough for you guys. That is the last time I'm going to say that on the channel, guys, so uh, um, if you missed that message, of course you've missed it. But I wanted to say thank you for the continued support, guys. We have just passed 2,250 subscribers on the way to 2,300, so if you aren't subscribed already, please do subscribe. That would really help the channel out. Now, last time we had kind of three separate battles, really. We had the battle over here for... Um, Petra, which is actually so much more brutal uh, than we really expected to start with. Um, yeah, really quite a brutal battle. They defended the walls very well. Um, and we're going to try and upgrade this and then move north with this army on to Bostra. And then hopefully Palmyra as well before chopping into uh, Antioch, retraining, and then coming north for Cappadocia. That's some time off though, still. And we also have this army in Pergamon where we fought the battle for Pergamon. Very nice indeed. Did some really good damage against the enemy over here. And we have Ariathus the Cruel, which I think is just... That's actually quite a cruel name for Ariathus himself. Uh, but we really need to get on and destroy Pergamon quite quickly. So then we can come over to Crete. Uh, or go against Cappadocia. We're still not decided. It just depends on what's happening, whether we go for that. And of course, up here in the northeast, uh, we are under siege by Bactria, which is fantastic. And I kind of hope that they attack. I might even goad them into attacking by removing these guys, because they might not attack because of these guys. But they actually haven't got any uh, siege equipment quite yet. And we've got seven turns to go on that siege. We do want to take that as a defensive siege, ideally. I really don't want to come out of the map and fight them on the battlefield because defensive siege we're going to do so much more damage and uh yeah a lot more quickly and yeah lose a lot less less men so definitely something we we want to do there is take that defensive siege if we can now we had a settlement over here isura that's ready to upgrade so let's remember that for the next turn that's 1600 and let's uh, let's end the turn. So I hope you guys do are doing well. Uh, this Seleucid campaign is is going very nicely. And yep, we have the Greek city states now attacking us. So we really do need to get out of Pergamon quite quickly. I ideally didn't want to uh, go across the river early, not the river. So across the Aegean early. But I guess we're going to have to now. Oh, that's quite annoying, Greek city states. I wonder whether that's the only settlement that they have. We have another husband. Where are you going to pop in? Ideally in the north. Actually, not... Oh, this is not too bad. We have this guy. Say I took these guys out. Would you be happy? They still would be. That's good. That's really good for us. So we're going to jump that. Um, also, I'm thinking... Yeah, we lost... Is that Zranka? Let me just try and load this. Yeah, that's Zranka. Did we lose another settlement to rebels over here? No, we didn't. Oh, we've also got Harmosia ready to upgrade. Oh, a few few settlements ready to upgrade. So we'll come back to that view in a second. Uh, and we'll get you, my friend, Argeos. You are 42. That probably wasn't the best. Oh, they, they left. They left. 
Hmm. That probably wasn't the best uh, sort of age of man to adopt, but okay, it's fine. <laughs> Delos, we had rioting. Oh, interesting. Why would we suddenly get rioting here? Because this is all the same culture as us, right? <laughs> oh, it's blockaded. Minus 45% from that blockade. Who's it blockaded by? Not many ships, but we don't have a navy that's quite big enough to deal with that. Yeah, they're blockading like so many ports over here. Uh, can we instantly get some happiness? 5%? An extra 5%? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's going to help. It's not quite going to make us, you know, happy. Uh, but we'll try and keep that up. Maybe they'll stop blockading it. If they don't, you know, it'll become re rebel probably, and we'll go back and take it. <sighs> Greek city-states, not great. Not happy with that at all. Oh, looks like the plague has finished in Seleucia. We're suddenly making a lot more money once again. So that is really good. Really good. Faction announcements. This is a good one. The Companion. He's the satrapy of Persidus. Satrap of Persia. Wow. Nice. I quite like that. What is your name, friend? Arsila Sal. What did I just say then? Arsilaus, I think. No, Ar... Arkesilaus. Arkesilaus. Okay. How's the plague down here? <gasps> no plague anymore. Fantastic. We'll go for that then. And then let's have a look at Seleucia. No plague. Come on, the boys. That's fantastic. That is exactly what we want to see. Now, up here, I am still, you know, going to wait for our two armies to be ready, like we've talked about before. Might get all those archers and then maybe two of those guys and we'll join in here. Instantly just a little bit unhappy, but you're going to come across to there anyway. Uh, how are we doing over here? Construction, of course. Lots of constructing going on. Very nice. Uh, and then there was... I Sauron over here. There we are. I Saura. Get that. Now, how are we looking at Petra? Suddenly a little bit more happy. That's good. We're going to have to wait, though. It's still only on 75%. You keep coming down. And we will uh, auto resolve this battle, of course. Look at that. Shouldn't really lose anyone. 12 for 12. That's absolutely fine. So enslave. This this minor city is going to be completely ruined now. Uh, we've got the Temple of Osiris. Honestly, not too bothered about, you know, that being there. I think that's fine. And we'll get a shrine to Hera. We've got this over here where we can start recruiting more Akontistai. I wonder... They have this over here. You need to keep exploring, don't you, my friend? So there's a blocker there. I can't remember exactly where that settlement is. But we've got to make sure that we take out, you know, as many of these settlements as we can. No, just keep coming down. So I think we go for that one next. So let's see whether we can remove the men. Get out. It's still only it's still on 70%. That's fantastic. You get in. We'll probably just push these guys away and destroy them if we can. If it'll work with an auto resolve. Yeah, I'm not going to 228. That's a bit silly. I'm going to try, you know, sort of battles that size. I don't think we really need to fight them. I think it's a bit pointless. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll try and avoid those and try and go for the bigger battles where a lot more is at stake. That's upgraded as well now. Good. So we've got a lot of upgrading going on, which hasn't happened in the first sort of 10 episodes of this series, really. So it's nice to see it happening now. Keep on going with that training. And we're getting the army barracks, aren't we? 
Fantastic. Now, while we're running along here, we should check. And we'll try and get as many horse archers as we can. Yeah. So if we find horse archers along the way, we will recruit them. You know, the sort of... Uh, the, mi uh, the missile... Cav, the Javi Cav, we're not going to recruit because it's pointless. I, I don't like Javi Cav, as, as you all know. I absolutely despise the old Javi Cav. So, yeah. Is there a settlement right on the tippy top of here? No, not quite. Not quite. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> right, now we're finally back to being healthy in Seleucia. You are building. Let's build in Babylon. Keep Babylon growing. Um, let's go for, we ideally want money, which the only thing here is the aqueduct that we can build, uh, because it's going to produce population growth. It's going to bring us some more money. Let's build the Agora in Is. Assur. Let's build the Agora there as well. I'm going to save that little bit of 4,000 to have a look at Pergamon. 140% now, so... Yeah, they've got an agent in there, which is minus 15%. Let's see what we can do here. So 30%. That's so trash. So, so trash. Wish you could get there. That would be helpful if you could actually get there, right? <laughs> um, I need the archers to man the walls. Alkaos. I mean, Ar oh, now Ariathus is Ariathus the Handsome. He was cruel before, but now he's handsome. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. But oh well. Yes. You. I wonder if we tried to get both of you in there. It's only gone up to forty percent because of the, you know, the the large population in Pergamon. So yeah, let's just. I tell you what. What if we stick Ariathus in there for now? trying to manage the city because he's got loads of influence and we'll take al chaos he's, he's 43 so he's never never going to be one of our legendary commanders uh, but we'll take al chaos and we'll begin to siege down the city of adramition that was our city of course always our city and they stole it from us like golem um you know, that's our city. That's our precious. We don't want to lose <laughs> that city. Right, let's have a look at old... Oh, we've got you two, haven't we? And one of you was going to go to Jerusalem. Oh, no. One of you wasn't going to go to Jerusalem. Where were we going to go? Probably, you know, some of the bigger settlements around here. Ptolemaeus, Phoenike. Let's get you there. And then Gadar is a minus city, Tyre is a minus city, and Sidon. I think, yeah, honestly, Sidon, the best option there. Bigger city. Not got any population growth right now, so we could do with uh, upgrading that somewhat. Let's get that, that market in there, just to get an extra bit. Uh, we're going to wait for that to be done down there, and that'll be fine. You're still moving. Pergamon's moving, and we're waiting up here. That's good. So let's end the turn. Lot to do each turn nowadays. <laughs> now that we are so large, and we are just, you know, fighting on all sort of all fronts, really. Oh, hello, Pergamon. This is actually quite nice. I quite like to see this. Very nice indeed. So we've got Atalos here with his uh, Katoikoi phalangites that shredded us last time, if I remember correctly. Lots of Prodromoi. And then the other army is a bit of a mix. We've got Hoplites. We've got some Phalangites. A Pergamon General's bodyguard without... It's a captain. I'm confused by that. I don't know. Hopefully that's not going to crash the game. Uh, but we shall see. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the battlefield where we can defend against these fools. So I will see you in a second, guys. We do have a hill. Got a nice little bit of a hill over here. Quite like that. Why is my... Um, suddenly this is so slow. Look at that. 
So slow. I guess uh, with the mouse it's fine. Um, I should have sorted these guys out. Auto sorted them. But we're going to have our phalangites, you know, in the middle. This is a very experienced army. Very nice indeed. Uh, if I believe, if I'm right, they'll either be coming in from the left or right. <laughs> Doesn't help too much, does it? Uh, but yeah, it's fine. Get these boys down this flank. Get these boys down here. Uh, make sure you're firing at will. Get our archers all grouped up. On top of the hill, firing down. And we've got our cavalry here to respond to any problems. Ellie's as well, although I don't want to get them into the fight. <laughs> okay, they're coming over from the right. That's fine. You're attacking me, remember, Pergamon. So come and get Sham. Come and get Sham. One sec, guys. I'm just going to change my settings very quickly. No point uh, cutting this out. I don't think if we go to gameplay, camera. Saying the rotation speed's quite fast. Get it a little bit higher. That's better. Just feels a bit more natural. Still feels incredibly slow, though. I don't know. Here are our boys, ready to fight. Speed it up. Let's get them close. I don't know. It looks like the second army is going to hit pretty similar time. And they're just moving across. So let's come down, try and force their hand to come up the hill towards us. Rather than just continuously trying to flank like the AI likes to do. Um, and then we'll get our archers in behind. Cavalry-wise, it looks like we're going to be needed more on the right flank. So let's get over there. Wait, Ellie's. Oh. Okay, we've lost all the men on the back of the Ellie's. So they can't actually fire that ammo. Even though it says they have ammo, they do have ammo. They just don't have men <laughs> to fire that ammo anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. God, they look good, don't they? The boys, ready to go. The Seleucid boys. Hope I was hoping we'd be able to fire from this position. But I guess not. Can't really see that other army. It's all the way over there. We're actually darn close to them right now. So let's just keep on coming. Keep piling on that pressure. Get these boys there. Got to remember they're really shallow firing arcs, so we might kill a few of our own men by shooting them in the back. But, you know, I'm not too bothered about that. Not too bothered. As long as we just goad them into fighting, really, that's the main thing. This prodromoy is going to come forward. Yeah, that's not a problem. And who are these? They do have some ar their own archers in there. I think that's quite a good firing arc, actually, over the top. What are these guys doing? They're just marching. <laughs> the AI is not bothered about helping itself, is it? God, this project only got pretty close. <laughs> They're going to charge into here. That's going to be nice, and then we'll flank them with these boys. Just need to wait a little bit longer. That's their general. Here we are. Chuck those Javis boys into the Hoplites. That's the Hoplites going against our Phalangites. Love to see that. Looks like their Prodromoy are pretty much dead. Get you guys forward. And let's get these guys around here as well. If we can flank. What are you? Theroporite. Oh, excuse me. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the fight, boys. Get in the fight. Beat the back of that Greek slinger. Yes, fire into there. Come on, boys. Kind of would like to kill that general rather than him run away. Ah, there we are. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, huh? Ooh, what, who, who are we getting shredded by here? Oh, it was Javis from the Theroporoi, it looks like. Uh, yeah, let's get you in. 
We will need to use our cavalry though. Now. Bring you back across this side. And we'll try to get round. Yep, you get in there. Come on, Cap. Is it me or do these seem really slow? Why are they going so slow? They seem incredibly slow. Like, ridiculously slow. Where? So that's the Hoplites there. You're only fighting Greek Peltas, bro. Should not be dying so much. Oh. Give you guys surround this boy. Halt. God, the cavalry seems incredibly slow. I know it's heavy cavalry. But he seems sluggish. Really sluggish. And the, uh... The enemy AI is just, just meandering up to the fight. <laughs> you guys go there. You guys get in there. Uh, you guys get through the middle. Nicely retrained a lot of these men. But we're losing quite a few, actually. Yeah, 15% already. Nothing to sniff at. I hate the fact that the cavalry can't catch up to bloody archers. <laughs> We've got horses, bro. We've literally got horses. Go! <laughs> Go for the charge here, boys. That's theirs. Good. No, no, I meant. Agama. Oh, he had Agama. I didn't even realize. There they are, dying. Good. Glorious. Let's get them. I think we're surrounded enough over this side. You guys get into that Katoikoi phalangites. We'll just try and mop up as many as we can. While the other army decides to meander its way. You guys get there. I think we're fine. I think we're, 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 we're happy. We're in a good place. Let's speed it up again. They're very tired now. They're fully surrounded as well. And our troops, you know, there's some serious experience there. I'd like you to try and walk through this. <laughs> That's the Rothroy broken. Uh, where's all the uh, cavalry gone? Okay, you boys get over here. There's the rest of the cavalry. Ah! Oh. Okay. We need to get you back. Right, you guys go there. You guys go there. Where are we? Oh my god! General! Come back! Come back, man! There. What are these guys doing, bro? They're literally just walking along doing nothing. We're just going to get all these men. Into a big block. That's all that really matters. So, uh, get you running. And now let's get the uh, the cavalry around here as well. Looks like they have a little bit. You know, they've got a few cavalry, but it's it looks mainly prodromite. Of course. What are they doing, bro? Literally doing nothing. There's the general's bodyguard. Very much like we should uh, charge them. You guys get your phalanxes down. Once the Prodromoy are dead, that's them gone. As well as the general's bodyguard, of course. Well, they've got the phalangites on this side, so I've got to be careful-ish. What are those phalangites doing? Bro, it's just dumb. <laughs> Chasing after my cavalry as if I'm going to engage them. Keep firing archers. I'm going to do so much more damage. Get there. Come on, men. Come on. Oh, here we go. Well, leaving them there by accident did bait them in, so that's fine. Kill those progeny, I hate them. 
I absolutely despise Prodromoy so much. Horrible, horrible unit. Uh, come on, boys. Hurry up. I need to go fight them. General's dead. Good. He's literally got nothing left. He's got nothing left. Can't see these uh, phalangites, so I don't know. Let's come back around this way. What is this? That's more prodromoi. Oh no, these are zistophori. Let's go then. Come on, men. I know you're tired, but you shouldn't be that slow. Such slugs, man. Slugs. God, these guys are so tired. Look at them. Come on, men. Let's go. That prodromoy is annoying me. God, I'm in a knackered. Let's back out. Let's get over this way. Get in the back of there. Go, boys. Back out. Back out. Back out. Got them wavering. Oh, but our men are just so tired that they can't really do much. Where's our archers? You guys get in there. Yeah, we've lost a lot of men in this fight. The Pergamon troops are pretty strong. Considering that they came at us, you know, separately... That's that one. Please don't tell me there's like some scummy. Oh, you're kidding. No. <laughs> oh, no. I completely forgot about our elephants. Oh, well. They were mercenaries and we weren't really using them at all. So maybe they'll come back. But I don't know. Just kill as many of those guys as you can. Which is probably all of them, honestly. And that should be everyone. Ah, oh, glorious victory, guys. Glorious. Oh, the elephants have gone mad now. So... I might as well uh, exit the battle. Ah, well, we did we did do a lot more damage than them. I know it's it seemed closer than it actually was. Chalka Speeder's doing well. 113 there. Bodyguard, of course, always doing well. 96 for that Theropora is pretty good. 83 for the Archers. Nice. 93 for the Zista 4. 126. 155 for that Chalka Speeder's. Very nice. Well, decent result anyway. Hopefully the town's ours, but I'm not too sure. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Oh, and we did take it. So... Do we enslave Adramition? I don't think so. I think we just occupy. Uh, we've still got a decent-sized army outside the city. We might have to go and have a go at that. Um, I wonder whether you can just walk across there onto the island, or you have to, you know, get a boat. Another 40-year-old. No thanks. This time, we probably won't take that. Delos, again, is really unhappy. Hmm... The blockade is properly hurting us here. Gonna try that. I mean, Delos might flip. But yeah, it's, it's not ideal. We'll get that in there. We're getting a lot of towns growing now, which is great. We've probably hit that sort of threshold. Uh, where we start to get a lot of towns building in now, which is fantastic. More opportunity for more people and more money. Uh, we will put that in there, because otherwise I will forget. We're up to 54,000 a turn now, even though we're running... You know, pretty much four full stacks, and half of them aren't even moving uh, right now. Let's get a sewers in there. I know it's probably not the place we want to build, ideally, but it's fine. Bactria is still just hanging out up there. Uh, you guys, let's keep you moving. And let's see whether we can get any more decent mercenaries. Not in that province. Have we crossed over province there, or is it the river that's the uh, crossover point? I think it's the river. Let's just see whether we do have mercenaries in this province. 
it's just the same pool, it looks like. Oh well. Uh, we're still recruiting, still getting more and more men. I think we're good for archers, honestly, now. We've got a lot of archers. Let's uh, retrain as many boys as we can while keeping on recruiting Theroparoi. Retrain all those boyos. We're missing one man in each unit. Uh, in fact, just... Uh, just use you. It's actually two men. I, I, I thought it was 122, not 123. We'll just do that with these guys. So it only, it's only one guy that needs retraining. And we can retrain everyone else as well. Very, very nice. Fantastic. And Bactria. Is Parthia still just stood up there? They are. That army doesn't look so big on the flag. But believe me, they are. <laughs> they will be a decent, decent army. So, yeah. Uh, very nice. Right, yeah, a bit unhappy in here now, but they've not rebelled or had any problems as of yet, so that's fine. Now, Petra, let's have a look. Looking happy now that we've, uh, now that we've upgraded it, that will actually help with the culture quite a bit because it's there's not that many buildings in here. Forty percent though is is not ideal. And do we have anyone to spare? Not really. We actually are missing quite a few people. So I'm wondering how long it would take to get you there. We got our archers. Stick your archers in there for now. We're going to leave you outside so you get that extra movement points when we do want to move off. Uh, you're fine. Wonder whether we could leave there to take a looser. Hey, yeah, you're still plenty happy, so... It's just nice having one in every single settlement. You know, you never know. There might be a rebel that just comes and attacks us. Oh, yeah, we forgot about the Greek city-states as well. That army looks like absolute... Like an absolute joke, honestly. <laughs> now, where's our nearest ships? We do have ships over here. So I'm gonna... Just cheekily move into there. And let's do what we can with this settlement. What is this? Shrine to Hero. They actually have... Oh, yeah. That's, that was the shrine we put in. They shouldn't be unhappy at all, really. Pergamon's now happy. I wonder whether we could get you out now. 65%. It's close. It's close. <laughs> but no cigar as of yet. So let's leave you in. Let's wait another turn. And let's build in here. We still have our recruitment thing here. Nice. So let's recruit one of you and let's build, you know, another temple just to keep them even happier. Then we'll move off, destroy that army, hopefully destroy that one. They don't, oh, they do have a single ram now. You know, if they take that, that's, that's fine. I'm not bothered. Uh, it's, we'll just take it back really quickly. So, yeah, we're moving from Petra. How about down here? Let's go, then. It's rebelling over here at Myos Hormos. That's actually quite good for us. And they have no one in there. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for us. Let's keep on coming down the Nile. I wonder how big this region is. I know it's large. But where are the other ones? I think they're, like, right over here. Like, far down. So, I think the rest of our plan is just to keep coming down the Nile. Oh, we do have over this way. That's what I was going to do, wasn't I? I was going to go back across this way to take these two. Well, it's going to be a long march ahead. We'll take this one, go here, and then I think go there, there, and then back. So, yeah, it's going to be a long march for Antiochus. But he can do it. If there's any man that can do it, he is the man. So, yeah. And that is moving everyone. So let's build then. Let's build. Um, and let's build once again going from our most economically rich region. Go for that spice road. Let's see how much money that actually generates. 153. Nothing to sniff at. You know, it's going to take 20 turns for it to pay for itself, which is, is not bad at all, really. Building that. See, it says here that it's it's not going to increase trade, but it will have another trade route, so it will add another trade route on, so it will actually make money. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep with that. We'll go for the public baths over here. You're building. 
Alexandria Carax. Let's go this time for the Academy. And Uruk, let's go for... The reason the Academy is because we're having governors in all these regions. Governors, Academies provide retinues. Uh, which increase, you know, the management of these guys, which is going to increase our money overall. So, although it might not increase money directly, it's an indirect increase of money there. Uh, and then Uruk, let's go for the Great Agora. How much money is that going to make? 244. That's quite good. But it is an expensive building. But oh well. you got to spend money to make money, right? Uh, now let's have a look up in these regions. And what I really want to do is actually have a bit of a... You know, a paved road that runs from south all the way up to the north. And I know that sounds a bit silly. Uh, but yeah, we really do want that in the end. But yeah, we'll, we'll start by just, you know, improving these regions slightly. We'll get, get the market in there. Alexandria Ariana, are we actually building? We are. How about Alexandria Susia? Yeah, that's... Not ideal. Let's just build the blacksmith there so that anything we recruit is going to have a little bit of armor. Go for the public baths in Bispautis. I know we're in the very far north here, but this region very rarely gets any love. And every now and then it's good to come back to some of those regions that you don't build in. Although they might not be the most efficient, but just to keep them ticking over. Keep them uh, increasing their population growth. Keep them increasing the amount of money that they're making for you. All that sort of thing. Uh, and yeah, that's quite a good job I think we've done there. Let's go for the crop rotation in there. Goodbye. We're building Articana. Yeah, let's build that because we need to. Get rid of that. And let's have a look over here. Yeah, I think we're good again for the turn. So let's end the turn. So much campaign management now. <laughs> In this uh, in this campaign, which is great. I mean, I mean, it was very campaign management heavy in in right at the start, of course. Okay, so they have attacked. I believe they only had a single ram. So do you know what, guys? I'll play this, and if you know the ram's destroyed, the ram's destroyed. If not, I'll just cut uh, to us losing. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. So guys, the walls were damaged, I guess. So. Yeah, the, the gate's already open, so I'll see you at the end of the battle, guys. I'll try and kill as many as I can. <laughs> there we are, guys. It only took a couple of minutes, but yeah. We actually inflicted quite a lot of casualties. You know, a lot of that, if you see, 103 casualties, but 78 by the Greek Peltast. So, you know, 25 from the towers as well, which is pretty decent. Uh, but I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. They have taken it. Greek city-states expanding. Everyone, I guess, is starting to see us as weak now, really, or, you know, we've got a few enemies now. The Antigonids are a big threat. <sighs> Pergamon, really? You know, that might allow us to go after Greek city-states. You know what we'll, we'll do is I will request compensation. Oh, no. Why would I... Ceasefire. And I'll offer trade rights as well. So, yeah. I'm going to offer that. They're, they're probably going to not accept. But that's fine. I didn't really want to accept that anyway. So, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll carry on. I, I, yeah, we're under a bit of pressure over here. But not too much. And honestly, yeah. Greece isn't too far away, is it? Greece is not... That's a 23-year-old. We'll accept that. Uh, where are you? Let's have a look. Oh, Okay, it's not too bad. A place... All these guys, like I said, are getting really old now. So... It's good to have a few extra men down here. Uh, let's go for the town grows over in this region. We'll build that. We are making some good money now. Some really good money. We'll uh, make sure that those are put in there. Because I will forget otherwise... Delos, again, it's just constantly getting s more upset. <sighs> There's really not much I can do. It's all coming from that blockade. Fine, it's 55% on the blockade now. 
Where's our best shipbuilding place? We can get triremes over here. Do you know what? We're gonna build some thinking. I'm gonna queue in. That's cost us an absolute fortune. But we're gonna build an actual navy now. Just to get rid of all these goddamn fleets trying to blockade us and, and stopping us from trading, stopping us, um, you know, getting across to these islands of Pergamon as well. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll build a navy now. It's been a while and we haven't, you know, used a navy yet. So, yeah, we'll be fine. Right then, if I took all of you boys out, don't want to get you stuck. That's plenty enough movement. So, yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll get you in. And they're going to fight this. I, I've got a feeling that they'll fight. Yeah. Right, guys. We're going to fight this because if I auto-resolve, it's going to be terrible. I could do... Yeah, let's do that. And then let's attack him. And let's fight these guys separate. We're pretty much just going to charge. I don't think we'll need much more than, you know... These guys and our cavalry, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Should be nice and easy. So I'll see you in a second, guys. Here we are, guys. Oh, quite a nice open battle map. I'm honestly, I'm just going to use these boys and they don't have any cavalry. We'll shred them. I don't think we need any more than that. Uh, where are they? <laughs> All the way up here. We'll run. I'm not too bothered about losing a few men because we've got uh, Sardis nearby where we can retrain them all. So, speed it up. They do have phalangites. But, yeah, don't think that's going to be a problem. Try and chuck as many javies into those boys as we can. Group you boys. Where's the cav? Oh, it's coming. Plenty fast enough. Just rest a second. Speed it up slightly. Rest this little bit, boys. Winded. Now warmed up. Good. Right. Let's come forward. And engage. As soon as we can get those javies off, we'll halt them. Halt, boyos. Get those javies away. Get all of them away as well. And look at the uh, experience they've got now. Missile attack of 21. That's quite obscene. That should be doing some really good damage, even though they are firing straight at them. Well, when I say really good damage, it's done nothing so far. <laughs> but it will be chipping away at those hit points, as we can see a few of them falling now. Last, last few javies, boys. Last few javies. I know we're going to be charging into a phalangite, but that's fine. We've got our cav to deal with them. Come on, the boys. And I think we'll go into those mercenary hoplites straight away. Right down the flank. Let's rally you, Ariathus, so you don't die. Okay, quite a good charge. Broken them straight away. Now we'll get out, boys. That should be this whole unit. Let's get out. And let's get into the back of those Greek hoplites. Hopefully the retreating men don't ruin the charge. And it doesn't look like it has. Oh, how is this to four? They're taking a battering here, though. Hopefully that just means they'll get more experience. Because they're not too experienced right now compared to, you know, our infantry in this army. Uh, let's charge these boys. Oh, look at that. That's quite brutal. He should, hopefully. Concerned over exposed flanks. Yeah. Just come back. We'll go for one more charge and they should break. You know, they won't be too strong in the next charge defending against it. So let's go. I know. And they're running away. That should be a really good charge. Yeah, instantly down to 50 from 70. Down to 45. Come on, boys. Come on. Get these guys to run. I know they've got the general in there. Uh, the rest of the men, how are they faring? If 
fair and fine. I'm just trying to get them some extra experience, you know. If you just overwhelmingly go after these guys with overwhelming force and destroy them and they don't take any damage, they don't tend to get experience. So, yeah, we'll get a bit of experience in here. And let's get back. We'll go for the next charge on the Pergamon Hoplites, and then hopefully we can chain that into the Katoikoi Phalangites. So, let's go. Problem being here, they're, they're right close to the edge, so we're not going to destroy this army fully, probably. Uh, but we, we can give it a go. We can give it a go. <laughs> Hammer and anvil, huh? Hammer and anvil. Who would have known? These guys are wavering. I think one charge will destroy them. There were Hoplites there as well, look. Yeah, broken. Fighting to the death now. Let's get after these guys. And uh, speed it up. Uh, slow that down slightly. And let's go. Let's kill them all. Fantastic. Very nice. Nice and easy battle. Doing plenty of damage. How many did they have left? 10%. Oh, we should, uh, we should have actually fully destroyed them. Well done, boys. Nice from the cavalry. Nice. And Throperoid doing a bit of damage. Getting a bit of extra experience with some of these boys. Nice. The Tchalka Speeder's got experience. <laughs> no kills and no casualties. This is what I don't understand. Like, what is the experience based on? <laughs> is it based on time spent on battlefields? Or is it spent, you know... You'd think... When a unit does really well, they would get experience, but they don't. So, I, I don't know. But I guess we'll uh, we'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And, yeah, we got rid of them quite easily. Could pop across. Let's have a look. And let's drop you off there. And let's see whether we can fight this battle straight away. Back-to-back -back battles against Pergamon. And that would... Yes! We've got to kill... Captain Philagros has the Pergamon Hoplites, Katoikois, and some Greek Hoplites. So, I think we will fight this. I know it's a tiny battle, guys. Uh, you can skip it, of course, if you want on the chapters below. Uh, but if I don't fight this, there's no chance that we're going to take the city in this battle. So, yeah, we'll fight it to make sure that we take the city. And Pergamon will be down to one settlement. Blitz Krieg against the Pergamese. Pergamese? Pergamonese. The Pergamen. The Pergamen. There we are. I will see you on the battlefield, guys. Here we are. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing. But this time, we'll take our Phalangites with us. Just because they do a bit better, obviously, against other Phalangites. And we'll try and flank with these boys. And you know what? I'm not going to take my Zistaphoroi. They're so damaged right now. Uh, that, yeah, I think go for these boys. do want these guys to get into the fight rather than withdrawing of course never good when they withdraw get the archers forward then we'll we'll just pepper them with a uh, with archer fire for a little bit i can't believe i i let my elephants die <laughs> that was so silly but oh well are these guys all on fire at will no get on fire at will why are we on that does less damage, so no thank you. Okay, they're running away now. Well, keep on letting the other guys get into the fight. So they've got further and further to get away, if they want to get away. And are they just hoplites? I don't, yeah, I don't believe they have... Okay. You're being a bit cheeky, aren't you? So let's go deal with them. And we'll start marching forward now. Our archers can still fire into them, which is great. Keep firing, boys. Just peppering away. Look at that one. Oh, down to 37 already. Good lord. Just micro these boys in a little bit more. And then we'll charge through. Okay, now they're going for the charge. Nice. That's what we like to see. Imagine if Ariathus died on this charge now. Rally him so he doesn't. <laughs> Shaking them already. Nice. Good. 
Yeah, we'll try and surround these boys when we can. Oh, God, we actually got shredded in that charge a little bit. Especially um, Al Chaos. Actually, no, you guys come fully behind. Greek Hoplites are getting shredded by the archers. Get firing in there, boys. We'll go for another charge on these guys. They are tough, these Pergamon Hoplites. I've got, I'm not going to lie. Quite a uh, tough old unit. Let's go. Oh, we're shredding them. Now we just need to surround these boys. Get out, boys, now. Really don't want to die against these Pergamon Hoplites in this tiny little battle. Wavering. Let's go. Is that their general? Okay, good. <laughs> Not ours. Good, 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 good. You guys just go after them for a little bit. That's another general dead. Wait, three generals? Oh, no, they're not a general. Ah, I was going to say. Ooh, this Chalka Speeders is a bit shredded as well. But like I say, I think we'll take Pergamon and we might... Take all the rest of the Pergamon lands, and then we'll try and uh, come and recover these boys. Uh, let's make sure that we kill as many as we can. Let's get these guys in here. And speed it up. Nice, nice little battle. Get up there. Oh, this to four is so far away. I don't think they'll be able to do anything, but... Oh, well. Kill them. Nice. Well done, boys. Well done. Nice. Very easy. Some good results again. Any experience? No experience this time. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. I will see you on the uh, bat uh, battle campaign map, guys. Victory! Here we are. And we did take it. Fantastic. Mytilene is ours. Very nice indeed. That was a um, Ptolemaic city, wasn't it? Oh, they actually still have this. I guess the AI doesn't know to destroy that, but yeah, destroy both of these. It's quite a nice little large city, although, you know, down to 7,000 after the devastation that's hit it a few times <laughs> through war. Uh, we'll get that down to low. Oh, Pergamon looking pretty unhappy again. Let's recruit another one of these Greek Peltas. Pop across there to get into Mytilene. We'll go after Kios, which is only a minor city. Next, uh, we'll take that. And Pergamon should be dead at that point. Um, yeah, should be. And then we can have a look at the Greek city-states and what we want to do. Yeah, Sardis. Let's have a look. Sardis, we're still recruiting. Yeah, we've got a few men. Still recruiting. What do we want to recruit after that, though? I think... We'll go back to some more Chalka Speeders. So we'll just stick a couple in there. Oh, more cities have grown. Make sure that we stick all these in. Uh, otherwise, I will forget. So, yeah, we'll stick them in. I know we're sticking them in a little bit early sometimes, but, yeah, I will forget otherwise. Right, let's have a look around our homelands once again. And let's go for a few buildings around this region and then i think with the rest of our cash oh we're here we can do that 126 they killed that's fine we'll enslave here no towns oh one more town colonai get rid of that that's actually good because colonai needed to upgrade for us to build any more economic buildings uh, let's have a look in here. It's so actually the border is just there. So there must be a settlement down here somewhere. But yeah, we kind of control this whole coastline now, which is very nice indeed. Destroy that. Now this region here needs to start recruiting Akontistai as many as possible. Um... 
And we need to wait for some replacements to come up this way. So let's get our shrine to Hera. Some garrison troops, should I say. These boys are garrison troops. It's going to take three turns to get there, which is kind of obscene, really. Uh, but it's fine. We'll, we'll accept that. And Antiochus can have a little break from campaigning once again. Now, how are we doing over this region? If we left Petra, is that fine? 59%. It's not particularly fine. <laughs> and I don't want to leave anyone behind. Are there, mercenaries? there are mercenaries available. Let's just get a mercenary. Can't wait around here all day, bro. 4,000 for that one. Let's get these guys. I know they're expensive, but... Yeah. We don't need to wait anymore. Right then. Let's uh, go for Bostra. And it's going to be similar, uh, similar situation at Bostra. It's going to be a hard nut to crack once again. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to take Bostra. And then, yeah, Palmyra as well. Then we can go to Antioch for retraining. Up in the north, we are fine, aren't we? Bactria has come back. Good. Don't mind. I don't mind that. That's quite nice. Make sure we're recruiting th uh, Theroperoi there still. So we've got m a couple more archers in the works there. One more here. Uh, yeah, I think we're fine there in terms of archers. It's just infantry that we want. And I think once these two, this one's done, we'll send those up north. Once these two are done, or it's probably going to be three now. We should be able to split that into two armies. So, yeah. I think we'll be in a good, good position. We're getting there. Yeah, we're definitely going to be in a good position. We'll have pretty much enough for two armies and some garrison armies. So, yeah, we're going to be in a really good position in the north. I say that now and we'll die straight away. <laughs> but, yeah, I think we'll be, um, we'll be pretty happy with that. So, yeah. Getting another Greek Peltast to go in there. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. So, I hope you have enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Um, and I will see you all again on the next video.